The push-up is one of the best bodyweight exercises. This is because you're using a lot of different muscles and you're also training your core while you're executing them. But people often progress too fast while execution is poor when training push-ups. This is mainly because people put quantity above quality. So more reps but less quality. Starting with push-ups doesn't have to be hard. You just have to try a new approach in learning how to do a perfect push-up. This new approach will have you executing perfect push-ups in no time. Just have a little patience. Learning new skills takes time and your body and muscles also need time to adjust and get used to this new way of exercising. When you think you've already mastered the push-up, but are executing it with poor form, going back to the basics and relearning the push-up can be hard. This is because you could do so much more push-ups using your old form. But trust me, using the right technique will make you stronger, better and less likely to get injured in the long run. But what is a good push-up? Let's dive into the technique behind the push-up. When you get into the starting position, Keep your core contracted and your arms in a straight line under your shoulders. The hand position is slightly wider than shoulder width. On the way down, bring your chest to the ground in a controlled manner, stopping just when your chest touches the ground, without actually resting your weight on the ground. During this movement, your elbows should be close to your body and pointing backwards while actively retracting your scapulas on the way down. During the entire movement, keep tension on your core hips and legs. On the way up, keep holding the same tension in your core, hips and legs. Push up from the ground with your elbows still close to your body, pointed backwards. Actively protract your scapulas on the way up until you've reached the end of the movement. Always use full range of motion because you want to train every part of your muscle and that can only be achieved by using a full range of motion. This is harder in the beginning but definitely more rewarding in the long run. Okay, now that we've covered the basics Let's apply this new knowledge. So, what's this new approach, you ask? Well, if you've ever done push-ups, you probably were challenged to do as many push-ups as you can in one set, or you were asked to just perform 10 push-ups in one set. My approach switches this around. So instead of doing one times 10 push-ups, we're going to do 10 times one push-up. Before we start the exercise, I want to point out that it's recommended to do a short warming up. I'll put a link to some of my videos up here somewhere. And they're just 10 minutes and they're super effective. So, back to the exercise. Let's do one push up, rest a little, you can use a timer for 20 seconds. And then do just one push up again. We're going to repeat this until we've done 10 total. Executing every push up to the best of our ability. We're using proper form, proper technique, we're keeping our core contracted, we're using the full range of motion, we're keeping our elbows pointed backwards. Let's go. Okay, I'm getting into the starting position, getting ready to go down, down to the ground, and up again. Sitting back on my knees, just relaxing a bit. And when I'm feeling ready, I'm starting the next push-up. Starting position, the way down, and the way up. Like on my knees, and resting again. Probably the easiest way of doing this 
setting a timer for 20 or 30 seconds with a bell. When the bell rings, you'll do one push up and the rest of the time is rest. Then the bell rings again and you go again. You're going to implement this routine for 3 to 5 sessions per week. Once you've executed 10 times 1 perfect push ups for 3 sessions in a row, then you can continue to the next progression 10 times 2 push ups. If you start to lose form, go back 1 repetition per set to finish the session. The next session, you'll try to do 10 times 2 push ups again until every set is perfect. If you've executed 10 times 2 perfect push ups for 3 sessions in a row, then you can continue to the next progression. Be strict with yourself. You're doing this for yourself, not for me. When you start to lose form, go back one repetition per set to finish the session. To check your form, use a mirror, a spotter or film yourself. Okay, 10 times 4 is the last example I'm giving. Because I think you understand what's coming after 10 times 4. Right, 10 times 5 is the next progression then 10 times 6, 10 times 7, and so on. Well, I hear you guys thinking, what if you can already execute 10 sets or of 3, or 4, or 5 perfect push-ups? Well, I would recommend starting just one level lower. So, when you're able to do the 10 times 4 series, uh, start in the 10 times 3 series and what you're going to do is you're going to really focus on executing every repetition perfectly and then follow the program from there on. Once you hit 10 times 10 perfect push-ups you can start to challenge yourself to bigger sets like 8 times 12 or 7 times 14 and you can start to test your max reps in one set. But remember, quality over quantity, so always go for the perfect form. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this video was educational for you, and I hope that you'll be using this video to make every push-up perfect. If you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel, hit the bell and like this video. That way, you'll never miss any of my new videos, and you'll have helped me reach more people. And as always, have a great day. For the people who are not able to do a normal push-up, these two clips contain easier variations using a platform. This is a simple chair, and the same rules apply as doing a push-up on the ground. By just turning the chair around, the platform is even higher, making the exercise even easier. Progress from these variations until you can do a push-up from the ground. Good luck!